Jace, you've been here for a few months now. How have you found life at West Bromwich Albion so far? Uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I think um, day in, day out, just trying to come in with, with a smile on my face and try and um, just enjoy it. And I think that's been probably the key to it, just um, get back enjoying my football. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying being around um, the lads. You know, Everyone's helped me settle in quite well. And um, yeah, obviously it helps when you're, when you're winning games and doing well. So um, yeah, I've been just really enjoying it. One player who's helped you settle is Dara O'Shea, your fellow countryman. Just tell us a little bit about what he's done for you since you joined. Yeah, so um, Dara straight away, obviously I know Dara um, five, six years now, do you know what I mean? And um, he's been brilliant with me. Um, he, <laughs> I was living with him for a good uh, a good six weeks or so and um, with him him and his partner. So um, for them to take me in and make me feel comfortable was um, unbelievable. And uh, I, was, I was really grateful for that. And um, yeah, he, he's done a lot, to be fair, since I've been here to, to make me feel um, feel at home, I suppose. How much of a difference does it make when you join a new club and you already know so many of the lads here? Yeah, definitely, a hundred percent. You know, obviously you can kind of lean towards a few boys, and um, you know, obviously it helps when you're when you when you've been in teams or you know the lads coming in. Um, obviously, Robbo, Dara, uh, Clarke, you know, Butts as well. You know, so there was a, a good little group there that I knew before coming in, so it definitely helped. It was fair to say that you had to be patient for your opportunity, but you've been in the team the last couple of games. How would you assess your own performances during that time? Uh, yeah, I think I've done okay. Um, obviously, there's stuff I think um, I need to do better, better in. Um, it probably helped, you know, having having a bit of time, you know, um, working day in, day out with the gaffer, how they want to play and stuff. And um, I feel like the more I play, maybe the more I get used to, and the the better I can get, hopefully. But um, no, it's been brilliant, obviously, to get get in and obviously. Um, getting the win the other the other day against Bristol was um, was brilliant. You mentioned the gaffer there. Has he spoke to you about your performances and what he wants from you and where he thinks you can improve? Uh, yeah, he has. Yeah, I think um, I understand um, pretty much what, what the gaffer wants from me and what he expects from me. So um, as long as um, I'm clear and um, I'm clear on what I need to do, then um, I think that's the way forward really. And um, I think we have a, a pretty clear identity about how the gaffer wants us to play, um, the team. Um, what the team, what he expects from the team and stuff, so I think, yeah, definitely. What was it like playing with Snoddy in the middle on Saturday? Yeah, Snoddy, it was, it was very good actually playing with Snoddy. Um, I'm quite close with him off the pitch as well, you know, he's, he's another one that's helped me settle in really well. Um, been spending a bit of time with him outside of, uh, outside of the football pitch as well, so um, he's been brilliant and obviously um, for us too, you know, I think because the skip and Al have done so well, you know, um, it was about us probably being patient and waiting for a chance and um, yeah. Another area where you've had plenty of support is on social media from our fans. How much of it have you seen and how good does it make you feel when you read comments? Uh, to be fair, I do try to um, stay off uh, social media as much as I can. You know, I'm not on Instagram. I just feel like I want to just try and focus on football, you know, here and now and just enjoying, enjoying my football and concentrating just mainly on my performance and how I am, how I am around the place every day. So I think... Um, I haven't paid too much attention, but obviously it's nice if, if there is good things being said. It's top of the table clash on Saturday down at Fulham. Are these the games as players that you really look forward to? Yeah, definitely. Um, the big games, I suppose you could call it. I know it's early still in the season, um, but definitely we want to we wanna be teams that are ahead of us at the moment and um, really put down a marker to the rest of the league. So um, it's definitely a game we'll be going there to, to try and win, and um, that's definitely, definitely the end. And just to end on, Jace, it's a sold-out away end down at Craven Cottage on Saturday. Fantastic support once again from our supporters. How big a role can they play down there on at the weekend? Yeah, massive. I think um, I think a home form. Um, the last few now has been quite good, and I think the supporters are obviously massive to that. You know, the atmosphere, and um, I think it's important us as uh, us as players and as a team. You know, we make um, the Hortons a, a quite a, a hard place to come to, and I think we've done that the last last few games so um to to have them coming all the way down and um, packing out their way and will be will be brilliant and definitely help us.